Hi, I'm Corey Hintz with Greenmark Equipment, and I have been a service technician for over seven years. Let's take a look at the three load cells inside the grain tank. Don't be fooled, these load cells are not to be stepped on. Each load cell is placed in this grain tank to measure not only the weight of the load being applied, but a potential shift or uneven loading of the grain tank. When making adjustments on the active yield system, the correction applied box is available through the display. Keep in mind that the calibration should not be performed on a load to load basis, but as a field average. At the end of the season, the sensors are maintenance free. When performing cleaning, do not apply pressured water to the sensors directly and reduce standing water inside the grain tank. On your S600 combine, let's start at our main combine run page. We select the setup icon and we click the moisture icon. Select the active yield checkbox to enable the system. Now you can effectively monitor the system by viewing the accepted loads, last accepted load, and the system's calibration quality status bar. How about an S700 series combine? Again, we start on the main combine run page and select menu. Let's select the calibration procedures icon and select active yield from the list. From here, you're prompted with a master on-off switch. Once enabled, you'll be able to view the crop type, accepted loads, last accepted load, calibration quality, and the sample status indicator. Keep in mind that with the Gen 4 display, there are multiple shortcuts that an operator can create to access the information quickly as needed. Tune in to Greenmark's virtual monitor setup class for your display and how to optimize it. Thank you for watching and please contact your local Greenmark Equipment location for any John Deere Active Yield questions.